Welcome, Aries. Okay, so let's jump right in. And happy birthday to you guys. Um, Aries season. Wow. Hello. Aries season already. And look at that. Starting off strong with this chariot. Okay. We have you having willpower moving in a very awesome direction. We also have this three of rings collaborating. This is building things for yourself, possibly uh, communicating with people or collaborating and making, like building something here as you may be releasing um, a very heartbreaking situation for sure. There, it seems like there is a bit of self doubt here when it comes to a certain situation, but let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay, yeah, it looks like you're moving forward. Aries, looks like you're moving forward. Okay, we're gonna get see what this is. The challenge is like limiting, like self limitations, okay? Self entrapment. Ooh, manifest. Spirit is saying manifest and you will make shit happen. I mean, come on, you're an Aries. You're the emperor in tarot. Well, up, emperor upright. <laughs> this is entrepreneur type of energy. So there's something here with that three of rings that's coming into the near future. And then we do have, you know, you coming up strong in your reading. The thing is, is that you're moving forward somewhere. Like you're moving away from chaos and you're moving forward. So let's see, where is this going here? All right, so there's like equal give and take. Things are coming into balance. There's a bit of hesitation when moving forward. Three of wands, work. Work, 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 putting in the effort. We do have the 10 of cups in the reverse. Let's get more into this, okay, Aries? Holding on. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Who are, were you dealing with? Someone is having a hard time expressing their emotions for sure. There may be an individual here that you may feel like doesn't have the best intentions or doesn't know how to really communicate or collaborate very well. It does show that somebody is feeling a bit rejected or feeling a bit hurt here because um, maybe you're not really showing that time of day. Showing them the time of day. But they are feeling rejected, whoever this may be. The challenge is some type of delays. The Four of Wands keeps coming up. The Magician. This is all about manifestation. And with the Tower, it seems like there's a blessing in disguise coming in. Are something that you don't see coming so even so because I'm seeing this eight of swords energy and the eight of swords is like more of like limiting your own self mentally okay so there's something in your mind of how you're thinking things may go but it may not even go that way you see let's see let's just keep going Recovering from something in the past, seeing the reality of something in the past. Nine of Cups, desire, wish fulfillment. Oh, where did this person come from? I do have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, working with this person, collaborating. Why is it so hard to? Oh, I see. Why? Never mind. We got the devil in here. Okay, this could be a work situation for some. I am feeling kind of work situation for others of you. This could be a connection. It could be a marriage or someone that you're co-parenting with. I mean, it could be a bunch of stuff. But what I'm seeing here, like the main message is that there's delays. There's a lot of delays. There's a lot of holding back and hesitation. But also you're on the move but there's a bit of self-doubt if you're making the right choice or not, especially with that fool, but things seem to come to balance. You are putting the effort into something which is causing, like that has to do with 
like something you're working on or your, your craftsmanship, something like that. But there's an unexpected an unexpected delay or like fear of something. But then we have this tower to where it's like a huge blessing in disguise. I'm telling you. Then we have, then we had that devil, you see. Oh. We have deceit. We have deceit coming in. And finding out the truth. This is a very hard reading right now, like just to tell you guys the truth. Like this is, it feels like something doesn't follow through because it's a blessing in disguise. And something that you are, you are collaborating with, I feel no matter what, you're gonna overcome this because we have the chariot. The chariot overcomes any obstacle. But I feel with this obstacle here, there's a sense of rejection due to somebody's deceitful behavior. In your mind, something is keeping you stuck because it's like something that you really wanted. And it seemed very promising what, with, from what I'm seeing with the Nine of Cups. But really, we have, this could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person can be that sign. But really, we have this other person or this other situation where somebody is being sneaky. What's hidden? Like this is like hidden things here. Someone doesn't follow through with something they promised, which leads to this Nine of Swords, which I remember when I'm doing these readings, this could already have happened for a lot of you guys, okay? But this is more to bring clarity and confirmation to put things in perspective with the messages that Spirit does bring out. But I am seeing that you are like, this is like a very big, you know, big challenge because there's a lot of worry and sleepless nights here with this nine of swords energy um to where something doesn't follow through so now that i'm seeing you seeing the truth and getting that clarity that you need you get a better idea on what direction to go now to where i see is that you start taking off the moment this ace of swords comes in yeah could be a divorce could be a separation But there is an opportunity. The King of Wands is coming up in the reverse. So again, I am seeing King and Queen and I am seeing this King of Wands twice. But there is something that has to be reevaluated because of the unexpected. Hmm. I want to get more into this really quickly because Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, you didn't see something coming. You either found out some information or somebody here is just not being very truthful at all. It feels like you have a very deceitful person around you that can't think for themselves or operating in some way. I don't know, but there's like competition or something going on here. Let me just get this tower. Yeah, see, this is something that it's like you have to release and move forward from. See what's going on. Okay, and you've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. Yeah, there's a selfish energy. very um it just feels very odd like i'm getting it says unresolved so much has happened between us in the past can we work throughout it again but from what i'm seeing is that this person 
does not have good intentions for anyone. This is like it seems like a person that would kind of step on over you to get to the top. So this is divine counterpart, selfish. I run away because I felt like I couldn't live up to your stand, your needs and expectations. Huh, maybe a, a partner who didn't come through, someone who kind of was acting like that Knight of Cups energy. You are the love of my life. Water under the bridge. They want to just... I don't know. There's some communication and clarity coming in. I feel like I can be my true self around you. Please don't move on. I don't know. I see you moving on though. Okay. Here's your messages here, you guys. Okay. If you could do anything, what would it be? The, do the answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind for the heart is a gateway to the soul. And then it says life is a gift. Life is unfolding for you. So seize the day and make the most of every chance to be true to yourself and live life to the fullest. It's time to cut out all the noise. I feel like you're being redirected on your path of something that has caused a lot of delays. I feel like you're seeing the reality of someone's intentions and their behavior and their competitive ways. I see that this person is triggered by rejection or a misunderstanding, I don't know, to, to the point where someone behind the scenes does something to jeopardize, like does something that you didn't see coming. But then there's this clarity that comes out of this to which helps you move forward and something that becomes a blessing in disguise. Aries, this is a difficult one for me. I'm <laughs> I'm sure it's going to resonate with somebody, but this is what I have for you guys. I don't want to redo this reading because I'm probably going to it's probably going to resonate with somebody who needs to hear this. Uh, but as you know, I again, this is what I have. Um I hope this helped. I hope it brought clarity to you. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys very soon. I am um, going to jump right into the other set of readings because I was sick this month. Uh, very sick to where I, I mean, I didn't post for like 10, 11 days or something like that, you know, like, so um, I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to try to finish off the rest of the readings for you guys that I do each month for you. So I'll see you very soon. Okay. God bless.